Bunch of course, tell me where you at, your motivation guys back, your friend the one and only Keith Allen, I'm pumped up. You know, build fights have arguably been like one of the common method of fighting in Fortnite for more than four years now. But to this day, we're seeing players using outdated strategies and overall struggling to win their build fights successfully. That's why in today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys everything that you need to know in order to kill your opponents fast and come out on top of your build fights consistently. But before we do, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crime. Yo, and let's get this going. All right, so before we get into the tips and tricks we got for you guys today, we need to make sure that you're utilizing each of your building pieces correctly. You know, although it's common for players just, just to resort to using ramps and floors as their main building pieces when build fighting, this is actually not the best way to really go about it. Like when you strictly use ramps and floors as your building pieces, you're heavily limiting yourself when it comes to piece control opportunities. Sure, I mean, you can still use these builds to piece control your opponents, but those situations are just much more rare and it's gonna often give your opponent a clear angle to, to really trade damage with you anyways. On the on the other hand, using cones and walls as your main building pieces is going to create much better angles for yourself and overall give you guys just more opportunities to work with. Many people assume that ramps and floors are the only way to just trail an opponent in a build fight, but they couldn't be more wrong. Like with the proper crosser placement and jump timing, cones and walls can actually increase your mobility and end fights quicker. All you need to do is just position yourself around a half a tile away from your wall with a cone at your feet and place your crosshair just slightly above the top of your wall. And this is going to cause your cones to really place on the opposite side of where you're standing. You know, you're going to notice that once this initial cone is placed, you can add an additional two cones to the left and right of it as well. And so using the cone below you, simply just jump forwards and just land on the middle cone. From here, you could just place another wall in front of you and just repeat the same process over and over again. And when you do this sequence in a full sprint motion, you can usually land about three or four jumps before experiencing any jump fatigue. Uh, but when you do, you know, you could just easily just edit the cone at your feet into a ramp for you to just continue your momentum them forwards and repeat the sequence again without any slowdowns. Being able to trail on high ground at the full speed with the ability to place cones in three directions is going to block off any retakes or piece control attempts from your opponent as well as just apply counter piece control pieces that you can use to box the opposing player. Not to mention that due to the extended reach of cones, these pieces are going to be placed much quicker and much further away than a ramp and a floor would. Alright, so let's take a look at this clip for an example. The player sees an opponent building up below, so he immediately places a cone to his left that he used to really jump into the sequence. He then places a cone above the wall in front of him, jumps and places a floor below him while placing another wall and cone in front of him. This creates the perfect opportunity, guys, to really full box his opponent and end the fight just like that. All right, so don't get me wrong, like, we're not saying to remove ramps and floors from your playstyle. They will still need to be used in almost every build fight, but using cones and walls whenever you can is going to create opportunities for yourself that wouldn't normally be possible. You know, consider watching back a few of your fights and just take note of the situations where you could have used cones and walls instead. You're going to be surprised about how many plays you could have made if you would have used this strategy sooner. All right, if you guys want to learn more game-breaking strategies like this one, make sure to go over to ProGuys.com where we've got an army of pro coaches ready and waiting to teach you everything that you need to know about Fortnite so you can improve fast. All right, so we're sure that a majority of you guys are aware of how important crosshair placement can be in box fights, but a lot of you still don't know how useful proper crosshair placement can be in build fights as well. Like when you're playing from the high ground and your opponent is attempting to retake height, you should know exactly where they are at all times. The best way to do this, guys, is to keep your shotgun out as you trail them, keeping your crosshair locked on their body as they build. This is going to guarantee that you don't lose track of your opponent, and also it's going to allow you to hit free shots whenever they fail to fully protect themselves. You know, you'd be surprised how often you're going to miss out on free damage opportunities just because you weren't prepared to take a shot. Look, we all know how annoying those players who, you know, rely on brainlessly just spraying their weapons to win their fights can be, but strategically, spraying your opponent in a build fight is actually a great way to deal damage. You know, in a majority of the build fights, you're going to find yourself in, like, your opponents can be attempting to retake height with only one ramp above them for protection. And since most players choose to build fight using wood, this means that you could just spray through their top ramp and fry them very quickly. The best time to do this is when they're double editing through a floor and cone, since their builds are going to be very low on HP after just being edited and should really just take a few bullets to really fully destroy their protection and start dealing damage to them. Especially with the powerful SMGs we got in the current season, I mean, you should be able to take a majority of their health away before they can even react if they're able to hit most of your shots. This same strategy can be used for when you're playing from the low ground as well. You know, since a lot of players still fail to fully support their structures, you can oftentimes destroy their builds and cause them to fall using less than half of your magazine. You can use the remainder of your ammo to really spray as they're falling 
falling and just give yourself the opportunity to either push them and just end the fight or just simply just retake height from them. If you're tracking your opponent through their builds, like we mentioned in the previous tip, cracking their shield or even eliminating them as they fall should be no problem at all. All right, so going back to our previous tip, once you're in a position where you've cracked your opponent's shield and they're boxed up attempting to heal, you need to be applying consistent pressure. You know, we see way too many players just sitting patiently on the high ground as their opponent heals back up to full health. Like you need to try your best guys to prevent them from getting their heals off or else there's really no point in damaging them in the first place. All right, so you should really start by just spraying their box from a safe distance in the hopes of getting some bleed through damage. And so after you go through a clip or two, continuing pressure them just as you push towards their box. All right, just because their engagement started off as a build fight does not mean that it has to end that way. You know, once you get them in a vulnerable position, you should just force them into a box fight as this is the most efficient way to end a fight. All right, Punch Squad Army, it's time for the question of the day. Since we've been talking about spraying, which weapon do you guys prefer, the Stinger or the Combat SMG? You know, both of these can be great options, so let us know what you guys think down below in the comments. We all know how important high ground is in build fights, and this next tip that we got for you guys today is one that is guaranteed to get you hyped more often if used correctly. That is to use more high walls when playing from the low ground. You know, high walls are just like arguably the most efficient way to gain height and peace control opponents in build fights. You know, high walls are basically when you place an additional wall on top of the ones you've already normally placed. And so the most common way to use high walls is off of a side jump. Start by positioning yourself like you would for a regular side jump, but make sure to place a wall through the cone facing the direction that you're going to be jumping in. As your mid jump, turn around and place a wall on top of the one that is already placed. Place a floor below you as you land, then immediately jump back up and place a ramp for yourself to land on. When performed in the right situation, guys, your opponent is going to be oftentimes, you know, directly behind your high wall, giving you the opportunity to either just go for a full box play or just call them off through a window edit and just take height safely. You know, you're often going to see pro players using this retake in their fights as it is extremely efficient on materials and it really does have a very high success rate when going for peace control. You know, high walls can also be very versatile. So let us know if you guys like to see more variations of this move in future videos. But of course, Tommy, where you at? Your motivation guy is back. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, subscribe to the channel. Also, feel free to let us know if you guys want to learn anything else that we can, you know, that we can teach for you guys. We all know that build fights have and will continue to be a core part of the game no matter what. So using these tips and tricks, I'm telling you it's gonna take you to the next level. Connect with me, my Instagram, and your motivation guy. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.